Uh, hi, uh, today we continue our uh, tutorial uh, series. I'm sorry for a delay, but uh, customer is a king, so we had to finalize the project. But the advantage is that uh, now the project is mainly uh, finished and uh, we can run and take a look on uh, fi finished design and uh, definitely it's much more uh, it's much uh, better than learning on some uh, black and white screen and uh, uh, we are talking we will talk today about gulp uh, uh, so uh, uh, I tried uh, to use Gulp for a little bit unusual uh, for its uh, 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 purpose tool and this is for generation and my intention was that uh, it is believed that Gulp is going to be a substitution for Grunt and uh, mm, we use it, uh, Grunt for generating angular elements and uh, uh, after uh, completing, completing this task, uh, I draw a conclusion that uh, despite the fact that Gulp is definitely much faster, it's definitely uh, working with the stream, it's uh, a much better tool for uh, your daily tasks. For example, if you compile your styles uh, or J templates to HTML, you do it every time you made uh, some changes and uh, just saving your file. But uh, and uh, so you can you can take a look on Gulp documentation and Grunt and the main difference and the main advantage that uh, uh, Grunt is working on each step it it writes on disk and Gulp uh, doesn't do it it uh, it works with JavaScript stream streams. And uh, you can pipe, and we will we will uh, take a look on the mm, Gulp syntaxes. Uh, it will pipe and uh, do everything in memory, and definitely it's much much faster. And the uh, advantage is definitely noticeable if you are attaching it. You are using this tool for uh, some task that you're using just every keystroke, uh, literally. Uh, for generation, I found it that it's a little bit uh, working with uh, streams. It brings unnecessary complication for the task that you will use, uh, I don't know, even if you are doing very active development, I use it a couple of times a day uh, at most. And definitely, uh, like, uh, doing this, uh, keeping this hassle working with streams, in my opinion, a little bit uh, uh, not, uh, it's like using uh, incorrect tool for the task. Uh, but let's see, so the, uh, uh, the, the final project that uh, I would like, I implemented uh, two tasks and uh, uh, from uh, the first one uh, I uh, generate an angular view and automatically inject it inside uh, controllers and also in, in inside uh, object's main file and uh, the uh, syntax is just gulp value and I need to specify a mm, name of uh, this value and let it be I need let it be address and then I need to specify value and let it be uh, 3w fire base dot com and uh, additional uh, property that you can specify you can specify a controller or direct you to where you want to inside it and I found that uh, it's unusual for generation, so I never saw that uh, something like uh, your generator or grant uh, uh, inject automatically 
uh, you generated um, entities to any controllers. But I found that if I do not have this tool that can pretty fast and uh, at uh, one command do all these generations, uh, I tend to uh, communicate between Angular entities with code. Uh, uh, I know that it's uh, against uh, uh, good rule designs and uh, I try to avoid it but uh, sometimes when you're in hurry and uh, especially when you get some errors or something like that you need to to do in the nearest 10 minutes I tend to use the simplest uh, working uh, approach and in many cases it comes uh, only in test case then I uh, compile it to, to further and finally it goes to production code and then it starts everything that uh, you, are, you are all familiar with. So I, uh, I invested time and uh, uh, create this option that now we can specify any uh, like directive or controller and let's see in this case like contact us controller and let's specify the file and uh, we're on this command uh, so uh, everything is generated so uh, first of all we can open our app.js and you can see at line 140 we have this value and uh, uh, everything is set and uh, right now but this is like uh, uh, this is like standard generation and uh, you don't need to write anything or uh, uh, you, you can just use the standard generator and the one in uh, appeared in Angular e EAP version but uh, uh, what uh, I never met it was if we open our contact us it's not J it is definitely JS and uh, you can see that inside a, a controller I injected the service so it means that I can uh, pretty fast communicate between controllers and uh, it uh, much faster than I would write their communication over the scope and uh, yeah everything works uh, if we just go to contact us and uh, uh, specify this value on scope is equal to and uh, I will go now to our G8 and here I will just show it it is it's not the directive so it's going to be just interpolated directly and, and uh, if I go now I guess we have when you are working with in J, your intentions become very, very important. Uh, so let me first to split the screen and now go to our contact us. This is animation and this is our value. So you can see it become uh, uh, a piece of cake to uh, inject the controller to generate it automatically and uh, if I need to remove it so I will just give the same comment the only issue and that I add rm remove and everything uh, will be disappeared definitely it wouldn't disappear from the file but uh, if we take a look on our contact us controller it has only scope definitely it will be uh, it probably notifies about some error but uh, uh, I have a very fast generation of uh, values and uh, it automatically inject them and uh, definitely it will make all my uh, Angular development uh, much more correct. And if we take a look on uh, our G8 file for this, 
and uh, uh, you can see that uh, mm, uh, for Jade, first of all, we need to implement, uh, we need to install. Uh, do not forget uh, with uh, save development, we need to install uh, uh, not modulus. The, but in this case, I don't use any external models. Uh, I guess no. The only, the only, uh, the on no. I use couple of because when I'm doing a gulp replace, I'm using a gulp replace model. But these files will be will be available. Uh, also, if you uh, decided to use our after hotkey shortcuts, it uh, will be common. It's called NIST. Not in, not install save dev. Uh, so. It will uh, uh, it will lead you uh, beyond this pitfall when you forget to get a save dev and then you uh, commit your changes and you uh, then have a problem running it on another PC just because it's not in your package JSON file. So uh, we have here uh, two tasks. Uh, first of all, uh, what I give uh, this is because we need to uh, get console argument. Uh, and in this case, I specify, and I guess this is, uh, this is also a, a third party, uh, third party gulp, uh, uh, gulp uh, models, it's called uh, YARCs. And with this model, which uh, allow me to do, is just uh, specify a default parameters. And uh, I did it, Sometimes I can just uh, specify the gulp, uh, gulp value without any parameters, and it will generate in ArcGIS. It will generate me uh, this value value, uh, filling the default parameters. Definitely, I do not specify. Uh, I do not specify a file to inject default because uh, I don't want it polluting any <laughs> any default file uh, and uh, injections um, I have here uh, two gulp tasks because one of them will be always present because in our uh, uh, ArcGIS file we will always uh, be injecting our name in values but uh, uh, de uh, uh, dependency injection to any other Angular element, controller or directive, it's optional. And uh, it will be this task. Uh, I uh, create two tasks, uh, even three tasks. Uh, one of them is uh, will be like general task and uh, this task will be uh, name it value. And uh, it contains two tasks. And this is the first one uh, has name up inject and the second file inject. And when we inject inside our file, if we go to this uh, task, so first of all, we read this file app.js and we uh, do it with gulp source. It's uh, inevitably uh, a stream. And then, oh no, uh, I'm sorry, I, I use a lot of uh, gulp files. In this case, I installed gulp if, and I'm saying that if rm not true, in other words, if I'm not removing, if I want to inject it, do this. Uh, uh, inject append, and inject append, this is also third party gulp module which uh, take a line, and this is inject line, this is just a, a, a string, and uh, uh, then just append to the file, and uh, from the name of command it's uh, explicit uh, what it actually does. But if rm is true, so in other words, if it is present, uh, replace please this line in this stream. And then I give a gulp dust command, which, in other words, uh, writing this app.js instead of it actually every time it overrides itself, but with inclusion. And uh, uh, another task. This is file inject, and uh, it's a little bit, uh, a little bit uh, uh, more complicated approach. 
uh, first of all I read I uh, uh, on this line I read a parameter uh, argument file and uh, I create a filter from this and what filter does that uh, this is I just created a filter with another uh, module gulp filter uh, provide uh, its name and then uh, when this task is actually starts executing on this line it uh, read all JS files and uh, if you take a look on uh, my shortcut somehow doesn't work and yeah it's here it is in line 18 uh, this is script uh, folder and I read all the JS files in all uh, uh, all directory that is below our script folder uh, and I read all JS file and then I apply with pipe filter and with piping this is like you build a sequence of your gulp uh, uh, command and each module this is like a main rule of uh, gulp this is everything is module and each module does uh, one and only one uh, thing but do it well and then by uh, uh, it leads to the uh, uh, extreme modularity and you can like in constructor uh, uh, and from building blocks you can uh, build your uh, uh, all your ideal workflow and uh, uh, after I read all the files then I filter and when I'm filtering I'm choosing only this one file and the advantage of this approach that uh, I can specify either directive or controller I do not need to specify because another approach it was reading only those files but in that case I need to check uh, I need to check directory controllers directory uh, directory directory and directory service I mean dear service and uh, if I will have any other like util folder I will need to specify all of them but if I'm using approach with filter I read all and then leave only uh, this file and in this case I specify only a file name and uh, it choose only it if it is exist if it doesn't exist the filter it just filter everybody in this task uh, stop stop its execution then uh, another pipe this is the same like uh, the only issue that in this case I inject after a scope and uh, because uh, uh, well it's um, all directives almost all, all directives uh, uh, have this controller with scope and all controllers have the scope so I can definitely inject it after a scope and uh, uh, the program will work and uh, and that's it and this is like pretty easy approach and it does uh, 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 it does not much but I, I'm sure that influence on my project design will be significant because uh, I don't have time now, but maybe on some other tutorial I uh, because there are three main ways communication between controllers or directive uh, this is uh, by scope and another one this is by events and the best one this is using services like in this case and uh, I got a pretty uh, uh, pretty interesting mistake uh, due to the uh, JavaScript prototypical inheritance uh, but I will tell you more probably on the next tutorial uh, so thank you all files my gulp file will be in uh, uh, on video or at least it will be linked to uh, uh, Google Plus profile where you can download it and use it and uh, happy coding thank you